Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and today I wanted to discuss, I can't believe I'm saying this actually, the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaked footage. It is very odd to hear those words. It seems as though we've, we've fallen into a different dimension, where now this has become some type of normality. Hey, did you see the hours worth of Grand Theft Auto 6 leaked footage? Most of us who were prognosticating about GTA and uh, the next iteration of it, we're assuming that a leak would come in the form of some horribly shitty, vague, pixelated photo of something that slightly resembles the next Grand Theft Auto incarnation. And we were not expecting, again, almost uh, an hour, I think it was like 59 minutes, of footage, let alone debugging it. That was a little, I mean, if I can be picky here, and uh, I'm not really afforded the ability to do so, I wish it was raw gameplay footage only because I want to see the traffic, I want to see what the pedestrians are like, the types of interactions, and you saw a lot of placeholder models there, and of course, not complaining at all. It's just once you get a taste of something, you say, okay, fully addicted, let's see the whole thing, now I'm going to be picky. So, things I've noticed in this, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to Grand Theft Auto 4 was largely evolutionary. Whereas, you know, with Grand Theft Auto 4, looking back in San Andreas, you almost feel now that San Andreas could be played on a, on a phone, could look like a mobile game, in comparison. Not for the time being, I just mean in comparison, the, the leap uh, in the graphical department as well as physics. Well, every component was so big. I don't think the Grand Theft Auto 5 will be evolutionary in terms of graphics, but I think it will be evolutionary where it counts the most. Watch people getting shot in that leaked footage. Observe the physics. See the way they fall over. The way in the debugging menu, that's just what I'm going to call it because I'm not a developer and I, I don't know all the different terms for the software. The way he was adjusting the, uh, what was it, the, the pedals on the car, the steering wheel, not just the height of it, but forward and backwards. There are going to be so many more elements to this game. Enterable interiors, we can already tell from what we're seeing that the graphics are going to fall by the wayside. Not, of course, again, to say that they're going to look bad. They're going to look absolutely incredible. Do me a favor when you have the time and just watch the big trends with Grand Theft Auto V uh, graphic showcases. They have very specific tricks that they deploy to make the graphic mods look more impressive than they actually are. Yes, I'm, I'm saying that. They pick overcast weather, right? Or if they don't pick overcast weather, they'll pick this very bright, effulgent type of paint job so the car almost looks chrome. It doesn't look real, to be honest. Or very specific angles or environments so that you think it looks more realistic than it does. And then when they drive to another area where the weather changes, you say, uh, no, that, that still looks like Grand Theft Auto V, and also the geometry of the buildings. It just, it is showing its age. It's slightly becoming dated, as all things do. I do not think that the next version of Grand Theft Auto will be like that at all. I think that if we're going by the footage here, which is apparently pre-alpha, and obviously that's not going to look as good as the finished product. I think that what we're going to see is a game that looks photorealistic in almost every angle imaginable. Doesn't matter if it's raining out, potentially snowing, if it is over, uh, overcast, excuse me, cloudy, sunny, whatever, middle of a typhoon or a hurricane. This game is going to look photorealistic as, again, as we've seen, point blank. So... The, uh, the complaints about the graphics mods are a little bit lost on me, especially as how there's so many other elements that will make up for what kind of constitutes a great game. It's going to be car customization. You could also see the way the silk or fabric, whatever it is, in, in the leaked footage of the girl walking around in the dress, the way it blends um, with her movement, it flows, whether it be the wind or just the way she's, she's moving. That is the stuff that makes a game feel immersive. This whole time we've sort of thought that it's all about how lifelike does it feel, but I'm sure you've seen renderings in the past of people who have made the most realistic rendering you've ever seen. And then the second 
it starts to spring to life or the animations start moving, you go, oh, you know what? Actually, this looks kind of terrible. The fallout for what's about to happen, I don't know. Grand Theft Auto, the development of it, I won't say it hasn't been expeditious because I don't know the depth of how detailed the game is, but it certainly has not seem, uh, seemed like uh, they're actively trying to rush it out to the public. Having said that, I don't want this to stunt uh, the release of it anytime soon. It would be a shame if we were going to get a trailer that was even more impressive of the finished product, perhaps this October, November, uh, maybe even early 2023, and now they're like, hey, you know what? Go fuck yourself. You leaked it. <laughs> Y'all thought we wanted to play, and uh, they just push it to a later date. But I don't think that's going to happen. Also, it was largely speculated that the source code was leaked, which to me, that just seems overly malevolent. That just seems kind of nasty to do to Rockstar. I don't know why they would have leaked that. I guess I don't understand the mind of why hackers do the things that they do. Yeah, that, ju that just seemed way over the line. But thankfully, according to the Reddit post that I'm reading, that is not true. These leaks are real. This is just my speculation. And again, the physics and the graphics, which probably make up most of the game, and the characters, everything about it looks great. Everything about it. Now, I have to be honest here. I'm being as truthful as possible. When I saw, because I knew typing in GTA 6 leaked footage, I told myself, Tommy, don't expect an otherworldly type of extraterrestrial technology-driven game. Don't expect something that is so mind-blowing that, you know, you're just going to fall over and have an aneurysm. Because I knew that's not what it was going to be. I knew this was going to be something that you were going to have to absorb and look at and say, oh, wow, no, that really looks good. Or, oh, wow, I didn't notice that small detail. I knew it was not going to be rooted just in some enormous evolutionary graphics overhaul. And, of course, I was right, as I always am. Just kidding. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is going to be a great game. There's also been talk of uh, that it's not going to be as over the line with political correctness. And I can look past that. I really can. I, do, I don't think that Rockstar is going to sacrifice its identity for being PC. But anyway, guys, these are just my thoughts. On one hand, it's been great to see that they've actually acknowledged the existence, inadvertently, of course, of the most anticipated game of all time. I would say it's basically of all time. But it's also sad if there are unforeseen consequences that we don't know of yet. If this delays it further, if Rockstar gets pissed off or somehow we get repercussions that we don't, you know, that we never expected. But I don't think that will be the case. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you next video.